What's going on guys? Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at putting some livestock in the Pico Reef Tank. Welcome back to Mad Hatter's Reef. This is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now about a month ago, we started the Pico Reef Tank and when we were working towards that, we made a bunch of different videos on fish, invertebrates, and corals. And in those videos, I actually asked you guys what you wanted to see for fish, corals, and invertebrates in the Pico Reef Tank. We did a poll and today we're gonna to cover the results of those polls and then at the end of the video, we're gonna jump over to Live Aquara and actually place our order. So without further ado, let's jump into the fish and invertebrates that we're gonna be putting into the Pico Reef Tank. All right guys, so before we jump into today's video, I wanted to tell you about a contest that I'm doing here on the channel and we're gonna be giving away a JBJ Nano Auto Top Off. All you need to do to enter is hit the like button on this video, leave a comment down below, and be a subscriber to Mad Hatter's Reef. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can be in the know when I upload a video because that's going to give you another chance to enter to win. So comment, like, subscribe, and you may win yourself a JBJ Nano Auto Top Off. A couple of weeks back, we started the Pico Reef Tank build, and what I did leading up to that build, or at least the start of it, we went and did a lot of research on ideal fish, we did a video on ideal corals as well as ideal invertebrates. And if you want to take a look at those videos, I'm going to put links to them in the description below if you miss them for whatever reason or just want to refresh on them. But fast forward to today, the Pico Reef Tank has been up and running for at least a month now. We did do a fishless cycle on this tank and it cycled incredibly fast, which we also have a video on that. And if you want to check that out, that will be included with those other videos that we've already talked about. But the Pico Reef Tank at this point has been up for a couple of weeks and I'm ready to get some life into it. And during the videos where I went over ideal fish, corals, and vertebrates for a Pico Reef Tank, I left it up to you guys to decide what fish, corals, and vertebrates that we're going to put into the Pico Reef Tank. I figured we'd do a little community build here with the Pico. And I was really interested in seeing what you folks had to say about what was going to go into the Pico and I left it entirely up to you based off from the polls that I put into that video. So that's what we're going to do a little bit today. And then we're going to jump over to Live Aquara, actually place our order. And in next week's video, we are going to be adding fish and invertebrates to the Pico Reef Tank. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when that video is uploaded if you want to follow this build. So first things first, we're going to kick it off with the fish. Then we'll do the invertebrates because that's what we're going to be doing in this build. And then eventually we'll start adding corals to the Pico Reef Tank. But the first fish that we're going to take a look at that I put up as a potential possibility for adding to the Pico Reef Tank was the Croucher Gobi. Now this was actually the fish that I was hoping that you guys would vote for. It comes in at $59.00 is considered easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament. Uh, the coloration on this guy is absolutely phenomenal. I don't really know what the swim style of this fish is, but it kind of looks like it's very similar to a clown goby where it's just kind of sitting, it perches here and there, um, which probably makes it a pretty good candidate for a small tank. But the minimum tank size requirement for this fish is 30 gallons, and I definitely would be pushing that with the Pico Reef Tank because that is only 2 gallons. But the size of this fish is relatively small. It only grows to 2 inches. All in all, still an absolute beautiful fish that I probably will consider uh, maybe for the water box because they're absolutely awesome looking. Heavy price tag for such a small fish, but they are, from what I understand, pretty new to the hobby. They haven't been around for very long. But as you can see, this fish is currently out of stock, and hopefully... Uh, we can get one of these for the water box down the road. Next up, we have the green clown goby. Now, I didn't specify which I may. Actually, you know what? I may have specified if it was a green goby or a yellow clown goby. Uh, but these guys are considered easy to care for. They are very peaceful and have a carnivore-based diet. They can be in tanks as small as 
two gallons in my opinion. Uh, they are a very sight oriented fish, uh, very common to perch and just kind of sit and check stuff out. Uh, they only grow upwards of an inch and three quarters and are very, very easy to care for. So that makes it a great candidate for a Pico Reef Tank, not to mention $12.99 on the price tag at Live Aquara. So that's a pretty solid uh, price for a fish for a small tank. Next up for fish that were under consideration for the Pico Reef Tank build was the Orange Stripe Prawn Gobi. Uh, these guys come in at $36 a piece. As you can see, they are currently out of stock on Live Aquara, but these are a very easy to care for fish that has a peaceful temperament. Not that we're going to be putting a lot of fish into the Pico Reef Tank build. I'm actually going to be only putting one fish in it. Uh, they are considered reef safe and require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons, which isn't ideal for a two gallon aquarium. But I think that if I keep up on the maintenance on this tank that I probably could pull it off, um, especially if he's smaller. Being a younger fish, I could definitely pull it off for a period of time, but eventually he would have to be moved to a larger system, which I do have larger systems, so it's not an absolute dire situation if I were to go with this fish. But they can grow upwards of four and a half inches, and that's definitely too big for a two-gallon Pico Reef tank. But if I could get a small one and grow it out and eventually add it to another system down the road, I definitely would consider putting them into a Pico Reef tank for now. And the last option for the fish side of things on selecting critters for the Pico Reef Tank was a high fin banded goby. Now I've had one of these in the past. I actually had one in my nano tank build and I bought him with a pistol shrimp, which they were uh, bonded and they did a great job uh, together. But the uh, fish eventually jumped out of the tank and then the pistol shrimp ended up dying because he didn't have his partner. And that was a pretty sad story. But uh, these guys are known jumpers, but with my Pico Reef Tank build where I have that light that's in a lid, would have definitely kept them in the tank and hopefully uh, safe. These are considered a moderate care level fish, have a peaceful temperament, carnivore-based diet, grow upwards of 2 inches, and the generic uh, tank size for this fish is 10 gallons, although I know I definitely could have pulled it off in the Pico build. But uh, definitely a beautiful fish coming in at $18.00. But I left it up to you guys to decide what I was putting in my Pico Reef Tank for this build. And without further ado, let's jump into those results now. So as far as the four fish that I gave you for options for the Pico Reef Tank build, you guys, 52% of the vote went to the Clown Gobi. So that's what we're going to be putting into the Pico Reef Tank build, which I think out of all the fish that we looked at currently on this list, that was the only one that was in stock, so that kind of works out. Uh, and it's also one of the cheapest, so thank you for that. But that's what we're going to be putting into the Pico Reef Tank. Now let's move on to the invertebrates. Now as far as the invertebrate side of it, I gave you guys five different options. We're going to cover them briefly and then jump into the results for that. Uh, this one we first have up is the Camel Shrimp. Relatively inexpensive, $8 for a shrimp. Uh, they are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, a omnivore diet, are reef safe with caution. So you have to be careful with what kind of corals you put with this guy. And they have a max size of two inches, which as far as invertebrates go, uh, tank size isn't really a big deal. And uh, this was the first consideration as far as the shrimp side of things. But for me personally, I've never kept any. I know that they are relatively small, and most often when you buy them at the store, they're really tiny, uh, but they can grow upwards of two inches, so makes it a pretty good candidate for a nano reef tank. Next up, we have the Scarlet Reef Hermit Crab, and these guys are some of my absolute most favorite hermit crabs out there. Also, some of the most expensive. $3.99 is a pretty good price. I've actually paid upwards of $5 for this hermit crab, and the reason that I'd consider it for a Pico Reef Tank is I've actually had pretty bad uh, experiences with this hermit crab. This is probably the most docile hermit crab out of all of them. And in a species-specific tank such as a Pico Reef Tank build would probably be a pretty good spot for them. Uh, as currently, as you can see, they are out of stock. But ultimately, one of my most favorite hermit crabs out there for reef tanks. Next up, we got the sexy anemone shrimp. These guys come at a moderate price tag for a shrimp, still, in my opinion, relatively low as far as shrimp are concerned. 
with eleven dollars. Uh, they are considered easy to care for, peaceful temperament, are considered reef safe, which is a huge deal. Have a carnivore based diet and can grow upwards to an inch and a half. Now these guys are incredibly small, and that's what makes them an ideal candidate for a Pico reef tank. In a lot of other scenarios where, let's say you have a larger tank, such as a 220 gallon or even a 60 gallon, you can put these guys in there and they can kind of get lost because they're so small. And that's what makes them a great candidate for a Pico reef tank build. The next option for the Pico Reef Tank build was a Astria Turbo Snail only invert system. And the reason that I was going to go ahead and do that was because in such a small system, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to have a lot of inverts. But if we were just going to focus on one invert, probably hands down, in my opinion, one of the best that you could get is the Astria snail. $2.99 is kind of high dollar for this snail. In most cases, you're going to pay about a buck. Uh, if you're paying $2.50 plus, that's probably too much for this guy, and I'd pass and try to find a better deal somewhere. But uh, in a Pico Reef tank, I think that, you know, they could do a pretty good job as long as there wasn't a lot of hermit crabs in there to bother them. And if they were by themselves, they would take care of the rock, the substrate, the glass, uh, hit all of those areas that need to be cleaned because allergy is going to happen in this system, and they are probably, hands down, the best option for a Pico Reef Tank build, as far as cleanup crew goes. And the last option for the Pico Reef Tank build was the Hermit Crab Only System. Now, this was going to create some interesting uh, scenarios as far as maintenance goes, because I just kind of touched on it with the snail. Hermit crabs can't really climb up on the glass and clean the glass as good as a snail, but I was going to take it under consideration as far as what you guys wanted to see in the Pico Reef Tank if it was going to be a hermit crab only system. Now, as far as blue-legged hermit crabs go, they're probably my go-to hermit crab. But if you guys decided to vote on this, I probably would have uh, asked you guys further what you wanted to see for hermit crabs in the Pico build just to kind of mix things up and keep it fresh. My opinion, blue-legged hermit crabs are the best. They are probably not the most aggressive ones out there. They usually can tolerate each other, but eventually one does become the dominant one and kind of will run the tank a little bit, but it takes a long time for the hermit crab to get to that size. $2, kind of average price point for that hermit crab, uh, but definitely a great addition to a Pico Reef Tank. And without further ado, let's jump into the results of these five, and you guys voted 66% for the sexy anemone shrimp. Now I probably will throw a hermit crab and a snail in there as well, but you guys voted for the sexy anemone shrimp and that's what we're gonna be getting for the Pico reef tank. Now the unfortunate part of this guy being out of stock currently on Live Aquara, and it's going to be hard to find a lot of things that they don't have on hand currently because the airlines have cut back on international flights up to 90% cut back. That's a pretty substantial deal. So wholesalers are having a hard time getting in new livestock, which is going to kind of trickle down through uh, the industry all the way to the hobbyist. So we're going to have to wait on this guy for a little bit, but eventually when things kind of kick back into effect and airlines are kind of lifting this hold on international flights, we'll start seeing stuff coming back into uh, the country and hopefully we can get ourselves a sexy anemone shrimp for the pico reef tank all right folks so we are over at liveaquara.com now this isn't a sponsored video by them i'm this is me doing business paying with my own money uh for the very first time actually i've never actually had anything from them shipped to me so this will be kind of a dual thing here get some fish for the pico reef tank and also check out their service so we're going to jump over to the captive bread section and then click on clown goby, which they do have in stock currently the medium size, which I believe the medium size is typically about an inch and a half. So we grab that and then we're going to go back to uh, the marine invert section uh, because I wanted to get some hermit crabs, some snails, even though that we are going to go sexy anemone shrimp for this uh, tank, we are going to have to have uh, some type of cleanup crew for this system. Now, a Pico Reef tank that has two gallons doesn't necessarily need, you know, a ton of snails and a ton of hermit crabs. I probably will put maybe 
uh, one to two hermit crabs and one to two snails in the system. So the five pack option is probably going to be the best for me. Save a little bit of money. And with the additional snails and hermit crabs, we will just add to uh, the water box because I need to re-up on that anyways. That system has been up for about a year now. And it's always good to introduce some new hermit crabs and snails about once a year typically for me. Uh, so we're over at the hermit crab section right now. I'm going to go with the blue-legged. Uh, just because that is my go-to, we'll do the five pack, add that to the cart. And what are we going to do now? All right. So uh, at this point, you know, I'm probably just going to go uh, to the cart here and do the checkout. Obviously, there's some personal information there. So I'm going to exclude that for you guys. But this is the order for the Pico Reef Tank. And next week, we will be doing an update of this order and show you exactly what I get. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next week right here with a brand new video.